uh, they, so they, they pollinate, okay? Well, yeah, they do. Here's the problem. First of all, honeybees in general, talking about European honeybees, talking about Africanized honeybees, honeybees in general are generalists. They are good at pollinating hybrid species, oranges, almonds, right? They, they prop up monoculture, European bees do, okay? The Africanized honeybees that are feral and wild here in Cochise County are problematic for the native plants in Cochise County because of the way that they pollinate. Pollination is not a simple just throw seed. Pollination is very, very specific and evolved over a long period of time, millions of years, and involves lock and key <coughs> kind of things. So certain pollinators are good for pollinating certain plants. And this is a thing that evolved over millions of years and is taking place here. This is, a, this is an invasive species. It's a deadly invasive species. So sure they pollinate, but the fact is they hoard resources. They wet pack pollen in the hive. They take the nectar. They're robbing from the native pollinators. There's 1,100 species of native bees just in this area. None of them are honeybees. There's 4,000 species of native bees in North America. None of them are honeybees. There is a stingless honeybee that uh, they make something akin to honey that you're familiar with that uh, Central America, native to Central America, they're at risk. They're actually moving towards endangered because of the Africanized honeybees. So it doesn't matter that they pollinate and poorly at that, I may add. They're not designed for this ecosystem. And so they crowd out the native pollinators and the way that they pollinate our native plants, they actually inbreed them because they don't take the pollen far enough away from the original flower. Consequentially, the offspring of those native plants in consecutive generations gets weaker and weaker and weaker. And what happens is those native plants eventually disappear. This is a huge problem for ecosystem. Never mind the fact that they're dangerous Anybody that's got one of these feral hives on their property is severely at risk of being stung and possibly killed. They kill pets, they kill livestock, they're bad news. So we're not doing anybody any kind of service by relocating these. It's like relocating an active landmark. Plus the deleterious effect that these things have on ecosystems. So it's really, really bad. We kill every one of these hives we find. 